As we talked about in the introduction to this model, accounting is the language of corporate finance. Right? So what we're going to learn how, now is how to use financial ratios to measure key corporate finance concepts. We're going to be dealing with the major financial statements, the balance sheet, the income statement, and the cash flow statement. And then we're going to try to really put, put words to, to the numbers and make the financial statements live and really try to think about what can we see there. Okay? What sort of important corporate finance concepts can we learn by looking at, uh, at financial statements. Let's start with balance sheets. Okay? So that's going to be the first set of financial statements we're going to be looking at. We're going to spend quite a bit of time thinking about balance sheets. Okay? Before we get into real world examples, which is really how I want to do this, I want to, 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 to do these calculations using data from real world companies. But before we do that, let's just start with a simplified example where we are comparing three firms here. We have firm A, firm B, and, and firm C. Okay? And, and here you can see all, uh, uh, their, uh, a snapshot of their balance sheets. right? A real world balance sheet is going to have many more items than, than that. Here we just have the basic items. Assets, liabilities, and assets and liabilities are split into current and non-current. Uh, and, and, non, non and then we also have information on the equity, which is the difference between assets and liabilities. Okay? So ask yourself, what kind of information can we get by looking at a balance sheet? Okay? The first thing you notice is that the balance sheet will give you information on you know, how large the company is, how much, uh, uh, how much, how, uh, you know, how much assets does it have, right? In this case, the, the, the three firms have 500,000 or 500 million, let's say 500 million in assets, okay? And then we can look at the liability side, right? And here you can notice that there are some differences, right? So if you look at this, firm A has 200 million in current liabilities, firm B has just 50 million. Okay? Both companies have the, the same amount of total liabilities, but firm A has more current liabilities. Okay? So one thing we're going to do in this lecture, in this model, is to think about what does that mean for the liquidity of the company. Okay? So, and then we look at firm C. The main difference is that firm C has, has fewer liabilities than firm A and firm B. Right? So, Another concept we're going to talk about is solvency, which is going, to be a is going to be a difference between firm B and the other two firms. Okay? So these are the, 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 the key concepts we're going to be talking about, liquidity and solvency. Uh, and rather than using this, uh, uh, this uh, simplified example and made up examples, what I want to do is to use data from three real world companies to illustrate these key concepts. Okay? So we're going to take two companies uh, that, are, that are competitors. The first one is Cablevision, which is a uh, leading telecommunications company here in the U.S. Right? They uh, provide mostly digital television, also high-speed internet. Okay? And one of Cablevision's major competitors, which is DirecTV, which again is a major provider of digital television. Actually, DirecTV is more of an international company, right? They, they are a, a, a U.S. company that also operates mostly in Latin America. It has more than 37 million, million customers around the world. Okay? And for reasons that you will understand soon, we're going to talk about a third company in a completely different industry, which is BE Aerospace. What BE Aerospace does is they make uh, aircraft uh, cabin interior products, things like seats, you know, aircraft seats, they make those both for commercial and, and, and business jets. Okay? So, of course, this is a completely different company. You, you will see why we have that in the analysis when we start talking about liquidity ratios. So, those are the three companies we're going to analyze. And now we are really going to try to get into the financial ratios and see what we can learn about these companies by reading their accounting statements. 